this is take two. I was going to do it a few minutes ago, and then I was like, ooh, I've only got six minutes left. So, hi. I have just dumped a load of stuff off my thing. After I found a data cable that actually works, which reminds me, I need to um, put this somewhere safe so I don't forget that this is the one data cable that actually works. I don't know, I've had another data cable that stopped working, but it still charges, it just doesn't transfer. That's annoying. Um, so yeah, I, I was gonna, I thought I was gonna have to sit the old fashioned way and um, pull the memory card and then that was, that would have been fine, but I can't find my micro SD reader. I do have one, I've got a, quite a neat little dongle that does it, but I'm not sure where it is right now. So that would have been a whole thing as well. But anyway, hello, uh, today I am feeling quite regal and I'm wearing a uh, little, little crowns. Oh, is that coming up alright? There we go. And they are quite 3D as well. Quite sticky outy. Uh, so work today was boring. <laughs> I, I hate being one of those people that complains about I hate people who complain about work. And I definitely don't want to be one of those people who complains about work because I need the work. Um, I only had one day this week so it's not been good. But it was actually boring because I was doing the area of the town that was the smallest so I had the least amount to do. But it did mean that I could sneak into the um, Merry Christmas. It did mean I could sneak into the market, and I picked up some um, the haberdashery in there, and then they got offcuts of material. So I picked up a whole bunch of different um, offcuts, 50p each, and some of these bits are really huge. So we've got fluffy black, um, got a nice cotton white, uh, cotton blue. Cut glue. I might, I might use that for like if I make gold or whatever. Uh, slightly coarser, slightly darker blue. Um, this flower print, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I do actually have like stitchy books and like project ideas and that, but this piece is huge. Um, this is just fantastically ugly, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Maybe a again, I've got patterns, simple patterns for dolls' dresses or something. Um, stretchy scarf material that. It's got holes in it, so I can't really use it as a scuff, but it's still pretty. Uh, this one's also kind of a pretty two-toned thing. Again, I'm not, not sure what I'm going to use some of these for. Um, this I picked up because it was a really nice yellow, and then I realised it's also stretchy, so that could be useful for something. And then I've got this super fluffy pink, and this felt purple. So I was thinking, this fluffy, you know, because it's quite piddly, or 3D, I don't know what you call it, but it's quite fluffy and, and textured. So that is the body, and that is a fluffy belly for um, little plushy hedgehogs. Cute, no? So that's a, a far into the future project, because I do have patterns for um, hedgehogs. i got like patterns with really cute little um, tiny hedgehogs. Um, but I, I haven't practiced make, doing those yet because uh, the design that I've got is to do them in fully in felt and obviously that'll be mixed, technically that'll be mixed media because of different types of material but yeah, I got all those for a fiver lots of colours, lots of textures um, lots of things to um, explore and finally a use for the box that um, Adam gave me for Christmas which Feather bubble. Um, as you can see, it's just the right size. It's what you got with my Sherlock cushion in. My Sherlock cushion came in. So um, yeah. Uh, thanks, Adam. <laughs> so yeah, we, we've got a use for the box now, um, which is kind of handy. I could probably fit more in here as well if I squish it. One second. Uh, uh, do -do 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 -do. Um, yeah, so I've got this, which has got like simple designs. You can see there's like a hedgehog design, but you cut the spikes out. But I could probably adapt that or one of the round animals as a design. So they've got like um, cute all rows. So they've got like basic patterns to do like round animals. 
So maybe I could adapt one of those, like have the middle panel be like this face panel, have that be the purple felt and like do a little, like a different shaped nose, like a pointy nose on it. And then like have it positioned slightly differently so it's like a spiky body. Uh, maybe, I haven't decided yet. There is uh, Lana, the alpaca, but Lana. Um, another fox. Oh, there you go. Um, so here's he here's the uh, hedgehog pattern and design. Um, as you can see, it's designed slightly differently. But again, I could make the body piece out of the fuzzy pink, and then like do the belly. Yeah, otherwise, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. But these are designed to be teeny tiny. I'll show you the the felt pieces it comes with. I can't remember I've shown you this before. I might have shown you this before, but maybe not all the way in. Um, actually, well, the felt pieces are just felt pieces. I need to cut them out. But what it does come with is these reusable stencils. And as you can see, they're quite small. Like, because normally a pattern can be just as, almost as big as that, but this is these are really small um, stencils. So it'll be very teeny flushy, fluffy hedgehogs if I do decide to make go with that plan. But anyway, that's enough about my day and possible future sewing projects. We have the question of the day that I need to answer to complete this vlog. Uh, ferret shoe, nightmares. Weird, weird questions. I'm really random and there's no... It's a, I'm like... I'm wondering if they wrote out a, like, a whole bunch of questions and maybe they wrote out more than 365 um, maybe they had like maybe they had like 400 questions and then maybe they put them all in a hat shook it up a bit and then whichever ones they pulled out whichever ones they pulled out they were the questions and they, they put them in in that order and then the rest of the questions just stayed there I don't know it's a theory. Should we see what today's question is? Yes. If you're invited to the party of the century, what outfit would you wear? Um. I don't know. I mean, who who gets to decide it's the party of the century? Um. If it's the millennium, I didn't actually go to any millennium parties. I don't think I'm gonna get to see the next century unless something really weird happens so I don't know I mean the nicest dress um, I currently own is um, my bridesmaid's dress from my sister's wedding and that's still good that's still a nice party dress got pretty good wearing that um, you know my brain did actually go to like um, a simple black number but okay if I had the figure for it if I had the figure for it, um, something like Jessica Rabbit's outfit, like that long slinky cocktail dress with a long slit, um, but in black with the sparkles. Because you can't go wrong with classic black. Or maybe some other cute little number. I do actually have a um, Phoenix and Dragon print Chinese style dress that I've never worn because I bought it from eBay because I like the pattern. And I did think I'd get one of the larger sizes they had, and it's still too small for me. And that's fine. I, I knew it would be small when I bought it, but I thought, oh, I can. That would be like diet motivation. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Don't never buy clothing for a diet motivation. It doesn't work. Uh, unless it's really expensive, and this was not really expensive. <sighs> unless you've got other things like a wedding dress, because you also want to look good for the wedding. So that's a common thing. But otherwise, don't don't diet just to get into an outfit because you know, it probably won't work. You know, maybe I don't know. But yeah, I I guess nice shoes, nice. Oh, someone's pinging me. Um, <laughs> nice shoes. Um, nice. Um, a really nice thing to do. I would, if it was the party of the century, I probably would wear a dress or maybe a skirt blouse combo I won't, probably wouldn't wear trousers or a pantsuit um, but anyway um, I'm getting pinged um, by my friend uh, because I sent him my idea for the hedgehog and he seemed to enjoy it 
But also, I've answered the question. I would actually wear a very nice dress. If it was a party of the century, I would wear a, a nice dress of some description. Shoes and jewellery and accessories to match. Um, and I would probably have a terrible time because I'm an introvert and, and no good at that sort of thing. Uh, I'd try too hard. So anyway, uh, if you have been, thank you for watching. I completely appreciate it. Um, I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Move out the way!